tell us what the uh, relationship with Adidas means to the Hawthorne Footy Club. Oh, listen, Adidas are a reputable brand, aren't they? They've been around for uh, many, many years, and we had a great association with Puma over a long period of time, but um, it, was, uh, it was just time for a change, and um, yeah, we were really excited about uh, the Adidas brand being connected with, with our footy club, and um, hopefully it's a, it's a long-lasting relationship between the, between the two parties. Now, what's the feedback been from the boys? How are they finding the new outfits? Um, I haven't actually spoken to them directly, but um, I think any time you get uh, you get new clothing, or something that's a little bit different, it adds a little bit of a pep to your step. And um, yeah, so I think that, I think it's been exciting. I think it's a great initiative for the club. And um, yeah, we had a I had a great relationship with Puma, and hopefully we have a, a great one now with Adidas. Tell us about the relationship between Adidas and Hawthorne Football Club. Yeah, well, it, it came about uh, probably six, seven months ago. We uh, we crossed paths and uh, we we had a very informal discussion to start with, and it all it all uh, went from there. So we ended up um, dis discussing a, a longer-term partnership, and within probably three or four weeks, we'd we'd pencil out an agreement, and uh, it's been a fantastic out outcome for the club. So we're looking at um, obviously a five-year partnership that we hope. Uh, like most of our sponsors, that, that uh, goes for a long period of time. Now, Greg, tell us what it means to Adidas to be joined with the Hawks. We, uh, we're delighted to be uh, partnering the Hawks. Um, it's a champion football club. The, the culture is, is unique. Um, from our perspective, it sits very well with our brand values. So we're exceptionally excited to be partnering with the Hawthorne Football Club. Now, Foxy, have you heard from the players about how it feels to be wearing the new new Guernseys? Uh, yeah, look, they're they're a very fitted jumper, so getting used to it. We we were wearing a fairly baggy jumper, so I think they've they're a bit more conscious about their love handles and how much weight they're carrying. But uh, they're very very pleased. I think um, it's a high performance fabric. Um, the boys uh, get less tackles, um, so I think it's I think it's going to be really good for them, as well as all the other apparel. They're really excited about the footwear and all the running apparel. It's just fantastic. Absolutely. Now, Greg, was there a lot of um, preparation put involved in the design into the new new Guernseys? <coughs> yeah, I mean the research and development that goes into it is substantial. Um, if you if you look at the as, as Stuart said, in terms of the cut, it's a lot more figure hugging as it than it's been previously. Um, yeah, there's slightly less stretch in it as well, so it's it's more difficult when you get tackled. Um, there's obviously the ability to have GPS tracking in the in the garment as well. So. A lot of technology has gone into the garment, you know, the, the performance characteristics around moisture management, etc. The biggest thing for us as well is if, if we look at the, the design of, of the actual hawk on the Guernsey, um, if we look at the fact that the, the club song is actually on the Guernsey as well, just some, some tiny points of difference, those one percenters that make a, make a huge point of difference from our perspective. So, yeah, we're really excited the way it's come up. You'll see, you see some new interesting colours that, that have come into the training gear as well. So, yeah, very happy with the way it's turned out. Absolutely. Now you're doing the uh, Melbourne Ironman competition next week. Will you be donning on one of the Guernseys to help you get through it? Yeah, I, uh, I just need to get the right size on, the figure hanging one, so the old lamb chops don't stick out the side, but you know, I'll give it a crack. And, <laughs> and well, Stuart used to be an Ironman himself, so we'll yeah. be asking him for a few tips. Yeah, I, uh, I heard he's, uh, he's won three Pieta pubs, so I had a crack at breaking his record this year and was miles off, so I'll definitely have a go in the swim. You reckon, is he any chance, Foxy? <laughs> he could do very well, but uh, I'm certainly long retired. <laughs> <laughs>